serve chicken. We had some three cocks and we end up naming them. We had one called John Latigo. Those were the players used to play in the, I think that was the Crested Cranes. Yeah. We had John Latigo. We had one was called Katerega. We had one was called Seka Tower. And he named them after those players because he loved football. And really, we'll see when these cocks were fighting, to really, it was really fun. They were really, one, when one wins, like a team has won. Those players had their individual teams. And when one team, when one cock wins, it was like a team has won. He really loved football so much. He was also so much into music. We play our local instruments like the adungu. I used to play the lukeme. I don't know how they call it lukeme. Yeah, I used to do that. And he used to like dancing so much. He used to break dance for us. He was, his idol was Michael Jackson. He loved him so much that he virtually knew almost all his songs, his dance moves. And when we had visitors, when we had functions, who would dance for us. I met Bob 25 years ago uh, when he was uh, posted the, around Kirembe. I was working at Kirembe and uh, we were living in a place in Kirembe called Makagon, House C68. And uh, Bob was posted there as a young uh, military officer. He was a second lieutenant at that time and uh, he was one of the uh, UPDF contingent who were fighting the ADF at that time. He had wanted to be a pilot initially, but when he joined the army, he has really put all those characters, commanding, wanting to get the best out of what his bosses give him. That is what he even used to do at home. When we give him assignments, he would perform to the best. He's always, always wanted to be a, a performer. Bomo was like a kid at home. He used to come home and visit the boys. We knew uh, that he's a, a boy at home. But uh, as days passed, it's when we, we realized that he used to come home, come to... <laughs> to see Matilda. Yeah, when we were deployed to gather in the Buea up there, so we could tell that, ah, much as we are this end, I have a girlfriend and this girlfriend is pregnant. I didn't take it serious. Not until one day, uh, our commander put us on standby, announcing on the walkie-talkie that Bibi Ojik Amija, that the girlfriend Oji has given what? has given the birth. That's when I realized, oh, Kumbe, I found was, was what? Was serious that she had left a girlfriend somewhere. That's when I came to realize that it was a serious deal. I have also ever been a younger person. For a younger man of uh, around the early 20s to come and stand before a father of a daughter you have made pregnant is not an easy thing. If, if it had been me, I would have collected some elders to come with me to go and face this. But Bo came and stood on his, his two legs and he told me and said, Sir, I'm responsible for this. Um, I know I'm responsible, I know it shouldn't have happened, but this is what has happened. And he said, look, I'm not running away from this. I will help to look after your daughter while she, she's and, uh, until the child is born and thereafter. And I have my full intentions of marrying your daughter. He told me that. And he promised me he said, look, I can't do it now, I can't marry now.
because of the nature of my work. I am not here and I will not be here for quite some time. Uh, I, many times I don't even know where I'm going to be taken. I'm told and given like 30 minutes notice. So that kind of situation is going to continue for some time. And now, after 25 years, they are marrying in church. It has taken long, but Bob has fulfilled his promise. He said he was going to marry my daughter, and he's marrying her fully, which is okay, which is good, and we are very happy about it. He's been more of a big brother to me. He has mentored me at one point. He has, he has been a voice of reason, and we really thank God we got a bonus brother when he met Matilda. Yeah. And I'm happy that this moment has come when they're making it official. It has always been official to us, but okay, official to everyone else. But regardless, these two have been like married from the day they, they met. Matilda is a very calm person, a down to earth, enterprising person. Yes, who is welcoming and somebody you can always feel free to interact with and make you feel at home. That is my sister. To me and Genojik, we have been friends until we marry from the same family. My children have been together, but she has got one new unique character. One, one new unique character, her humanity. Her humanity is so unique so that she can even stop you from killing a snake. She's such a caring woman. She looked after us when we were two. She looked after me when I'm alone, when Bob was not there. So she's a lovely lady, which I think really God gave us as a gift. I first met uh, Major General Ojik in 1991, uh, which is uh, 32 years now and uh, I was joining senior one and he was in senior five and he was very vibrant and later became a uh, head prefect and he kept inspiring all of us uh, to do better than what we were. I want to say this to you Matilda, first of all thank you very much for being patient, uh, you've really uh, been patient with us but finally the day has come. All I can tell you uh, is your husband is a good man. And as Major General Jik knows, uh, we who come from Bunyoro, we have basically three things to describe a good man. He has Ubuntu, that is being humane. Uh, he has Abantu, that's why you see all of us around him on this special day. And he also has a Wintu. And uh, Matilda, I want to promise you that uh, you got the right man and we are very proud of him and also the country is very proud of him. Over the years we have grown to be friends in the profession. He has nurtured me, he has molded me, he has been a very friendly gentleman. With Matilda over the years she has grown to be a sister, a mother, a friend, and uh, a confident. Bob is somebody who is honest, hardworking, and loves his friends. He's one person who will always look for his friends, even if he has not met you for several years. He makes effort. Like if he knows you're in Kasese, the moment he visits Kasese, he will make a call to, to find out whether you're around, at, at, and at least he meets you. That is that. One unique thing with him. Then another thing, he likes honest people. The moment you see him not reaching out to you, please know there is a problem. But in your life, if you're straight, you're his friend. I can literally say this about Major General Bob Ogiki. He's somebody who will challenge you to be better. He's somebody who will encourage you. 
is somebody who will pick you up when you are down. He will show you an alternative where there may seem not to be any. I am sure that it is indeed God. To you, Matilda, I will say you are my Ebenezer. The Father Lord has brought you. From your marriage, both of you, I learned that patience is key. Through it all, patience always defines our destiny. For good things come to those who wait. I congratulate both of you and I pray that both of you live to enjoy every other fruit that comes with your marriage. If God blesses you with other children, I would pray that they become twins. I love both of you and may God bless you. My wife and I shall also provide you at least uh, a Frisian cow to congratulate you for having made this decision, but also for the long, long 32 years we have known each other. Thank you very much and congratulations on your wedding. This is to you, my kid brother, Bob, I pray that you handle that jewelry that has been given to you with much more love, with much more care that she deserves. She is so special. She has been your backbone. I don't know whether it's just the backbone. She has been you everything. I pray that you appreciate all that she has done for you and all that she has done for you, family, in your absence. You've not been around for almost, if you were to say 100%, you've not been around the life of your children like for 50%. It's been Mama Roni. I pray that you love continue growing to inspire others to see from you. And you pray that the good Lord continue blessing your family, continue loving, continue growing. The advice I give the two of you, especially Matilda, we look up to you, you're a big sister, your marriage is, I don't know, it's something we've all looked at, like, you know, how you, you how a kid learns to do the ABCs, so that's, you just know your marriage has been um, a template that we've picked a lot of uh, lessons from, so we ask, we really, really advise you, like me personally, I really would like to see this continue. I think she should remain with her manners because she's good mannered. She listens. I wish them the best. Long live their marriage. There shouldn't be a change in attitude. They should continue living, respecting each other, caring for each other like they have been doing for 25 years. And uh, working hard to bring up their children They should be okay if they continue living like they have been doing for 25 years.